the whole thing wobbing. Now, before we get into the video, guys, I do want to let you guys know I am currently running three giveaways for a Dynasty Edition copy of Madden 22, which, of course, is the $120 version of the game. I do have a TikTok up at Xerxy, as well as an Instagram post at Xerxy and Twitter as well, all at Xerxy. I will put the link to the Twitter one in the description. You guys can find me over on Instagram and TikTok. As I said, at Xerxy, it is one of my more recent posts on both of those platforms. Follow the rules over there. But on Twitter, all you guys have to do is retweet the tweet and follow me over on Twitter. The winner will be chosen on August 15th for all three copies. So make sure you guys go and check it out. Of course, that's going to be three different winners. Make sure you guys check out every single platform though and enter for all these giveaways. You definitely don't want to miss out on this, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. And with that being said, let's get into it. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video. And today we're going to be going over some more cards that were revealed earlier today, a little bit ago anyways, over on Twitter by some creators and then also just by EA themselves. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Carson Perk for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subs to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. But we do actually have seven new players that were revealed over on Twitter to go over with you guys. Uh, I am going to be saving the video that I had for later tonight, which was the best way to build your team day one. I'm probably going to put that one out tomorrow for you guys. I wanted to prioritize showing you guys all of the new cards because they actually showed some really good ones. So you guys can see we do have Darren Waller here, which has 84 speed. So 84 speed is pretty good. Uh, we know that Travis Kelsey's got 81. You know, rookie premier Kyle Pitts has got 88. So definitely doesn't compare there. But 84 speed is definitely pretty good. Now he also does have 86 catching with 81 catching traffic and 80 spec catch. He's route running. He's got 86 short, which is pretty good he's got 82 mini route running and then 64 strength and 64 run blocking so darren waller he looks really good i do want to see george kittle we have not seen kittle yet i'm thinking kittle's probably going to be pretty comparable when it comes to the speed but obviously kittle is a much better run blocker so that is the card that i really want to see that we haven't seen yet and also just to showcase this for you guys i know i show kyle pitts a lot but really i'm just showcasing how good they made these rookie premieres you guys don't know about the speed but also the catching stats he's actually got higher catching traffic and spec catch than darren waller the route running yeah he's not there and the run blocking and strength it's very comparable the short route running and the medium also very comparable as well but waller does have 86 shorts but kyle pitts four speed faster and better catching traffic I think it's very obvious who the best tight end in the game is. We haven't seen Kittle yet. And of course, Kittle could have, you know, a bit maybe faster speed than Waller or very comparable there. I think Pitts is by far the best tight end to start the year. Now, we also got a bunch of other cards, though. Stefan Diggs coming in with 85 speed, 83 jumping, 82 catch, 81 catch in traffic, 85 spec catch. And then his routes, he's got 83, 84, and 86. And he is a route runner archetype. So with Stefan Diggs having 85 speed, that's not bad. You know, it's definitely not 88, 89 speed. It's not Tyreek Hill. It's not Lance Allworth, those guys. But it's definitely not all that bad. Uh, if I remember correctly, I want to say Diggs is like six foot, maybe six one. I want to say Stefan Diggs is. I don't believe he's five something. I believe he is six feet. Uh, but he does have, you know, 85 spec catch, the route running. It's decent. It's a decent card. And I just wanted to double check on that. And yes, Stefan Diggs is actually six feet tall. We also have Amari Cooper for my Cowboys. But honestly, the card doesn't look that great. He's got 84 speed, so speed's not crazy. He's got, you know, 82 jumping, 82 catching, only 78 catching traffic and 79 spec catch. And then the routes, kind of low, to be honest, 82, 81, and 80. Given we don't know the thresholds yet, but I would like to see those at least around 85. So being only 82, I don't think this Cooper card is going to be very good. Low speed, not good catch traffic, not good route running. Now, a player I know you guys want to see as well is Justin Jefferson. And to be honest, this card kind of reminds me of Amari Cooper. 84 speed, not great catching traffic at only 78, 82 spec catch. And the routes, you know, 80, 78, and 80. So again, nothing crazy, not super fast, not crazy good hands, not really good route running. Justin Jefferson, a decently bigger wide receiver. He's not, you know, six foot five, six foot four, whatever. But I think he's going to be pretty decent. Him and Amari Cooper... I'd say about on the same level. 
Really nothing crazy. Now this one was revealed by Popular Stranger. You guys can see Jason Kelsey. He's got 80 strength, 88 awareness, 82 pass block, and 88 run blocking. Really nothing much else to say. It's a center, but he's got really, really good run block. Per usual, Jason Kelsey got really good run blocking, and I'd imagine his speed is probably pretty good too. And the final two cards I have to show you, I think these are probably two of the best ones, and I have one of them is definitely the best one I'm about to show you guys uh, so far for this video. But Calvin Ridley, 86 speed on him. Great speed. I mean, comparable to, you know, the 84, 85, or comparing it to those, it's a lot better there. He's not 88, 89 speed, but 86 speed, 82 overall for Calvin Ridley. Now, the catch in traffic, though, only a 73. So, really not looking too good there. He's got 78 catching, 78 jumping. The route running, not really too crazy on him. But at least he's got good speed. And after the catch, probably going to be pretty decent. But the final card that I have to show for you guys today is definitely going to be a budget beast wide receiver. Given, though, how budgety is he going to be? Because his name is DK Metcalf. So everybody knows who DK is. So he's going to be, you know, decently expensive. I don't think he's going to be 86, 87 overall price range, but he might be about the price of like an 84 overall, 85 overall, just because how good this card actually is. And of course, DK is a massive receiver and he's got 87 speed with 87 jumping. And as I've been telling you guys, I've been doing these wide receiver, these Titan reveals, whatever, is something that they really said when we were looking through the blogs and everything was those bigger body receivers, they're going to get better animations and be able to make more catches. We'll see how true that is, but if that is the case with DK, this is going to be an incredible card. His spec catch is an 84, which seems to be pretty decent. The catch traffic's 82, and as I already said, the speed and the jumping both being 87. That's really, really good. Now, the routes, they're not crazy against 78, 75, and, you know, 80, but it's really all about the speed, the jumping, the spec catch, and the fact that it's DK Metcalf. He is an absolutely huge wide receiver. So I think that DK... I am very happy they showed us this. I think this card is going to be one of the best budget wide receivers in the game. As I said, though, uh, may not be all that cheap, but a lot of people are going to want him on their team, especially because you can power him up. So 88 speed powered up. It's pretty good. And just as I was about to end the video, guys, they actually revealed another player. So I guess this means eight new players you guys get to see today. Unfortunately, the last one is not very good. Levante David, only 80 speed. That's bad. 84 Excel as well. Only has 77 zone, 78 hit power, 80 block shed. Definitely uh, not the best card I've ever seen. That is for sure. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I don't believe they're going to be doing any more reveals tonight. If they do, I'll tweet them out. So make sure you guys go ahead, follow me over on Twitter. Enter for all of the giveaways, like I said at the beginning of the video. Levante David, not too crazy. DK Metcalf, though, looks pretty good. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys next time.